Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today back on F1 2020 and what I guess you could say is sort of a culmination of this recreation of the Austrian Grand Prix that I've had going on over the last couple of days. I've competed in Formula 3 and the Porsche Super Cup over on RFAX 2. I've also raced a little bit in the Formula 2 category that was also on F1 2020. But today, it's the main game, the F1 category itself. Now the Austrian Grand Prix, as any F1 fan will know, takes place at the Red Bull Ring in Spielberg, formerly known as the A1 one ring that's how long i've been <laughs> a formula one fan for now and i have managed to qualify eight which is slightly further back than i've actually well than i was actually hoping because our pace has really sort of come alive towards the sort of mid part of this season i am that's matt gallagher lol <laughs> he works for mercedes all of a sudden but yeah i'm driving the alpha tower this season in what is actually a career mode that i've had going on for the last sort of couple of weeks and it started out a little bit slow had a couple sort of mistakes that i made which cost us a lot of points but over so yeah, as I said, the mid part of the season, I've started to get sort of those upgrades coming in and the cars got a lot quicker to the point where I think we're borderline quicker than the Red Bull racing team. So, <laughs> which is a bit of a frightening prospect, but it's not just me. It's my teammate Pierre Gasly as well. So it's definitely the car, but lurk has got a 10th place. But okay, so that means I think we might actually be starting in 7th now. So that's a bonus. <laughs> free spot <laughs> but yeah today's race is going to be 50 percent race distance damage is set to simulation and the difficulty is set to 100 so what have we got strategy wise is actually pretty close i've always sort of gone for the the longer sort of stints because i feel like this alpha tarry doesn't actually chew up its tires too bad but then i don't really know what what the other cars are like on this game now setup wise I've just found a setup on the Steam Workshop, so I, I just don't know how to set up a car on this game yet. The, there's some settings here that are a little bit interesting that I don't think you would apply in a real-life F1 car, but for the most part, the game is is a sim simcade game, so it's sort of what you'd expect, I suppose. Anyway, that's enough talk. Let's head away on this formation lap and turn the volume up so I can hear what I'm doing. Yeah, so we are starting seventh. too much wheel spin but I'm still getting used to the starts in F1 2020 it's just the fact that you sort of don't have a uh, an axis on the clutch even though you set it up as an axis it's you're either off it or you're on it and it's sort of weird so you sort of got to guess the actual the throttle percentage before you can just completely release the clutch and not stall it which is still taking me a while to get my head around but anyway, alrighty, lining up, here we go, round number 11 of this 2020 career mode season, Austrian Grand Prix in the Formula 1 category, I've had a pretty sort of mixed set of results this weekend in the other categories, but it's all down now to the main game, here we go. Oh jeez, those lights held way longer than I was expecting. Oh shit, there's someone on the outside there. Oh shit, that was my teammate. Okay, that's not gone well at all. Gotta get a good sort of first lap here before the field starts to spread out. Uh, all right, made up two spots. Oh, heavy fuel load. It takes me a while to get my sort of head around the grip levels because, of course, going from an F2 car to an F3 car to a Porsche Super Cup back to an F1 car, it's just huge difference in driving style. I'll take it easy here for the first couple of laps. Uh, we got in front of our Vettel in front of us, but top five, which is where we finished at Monaco. So, just see if we got any pace for the cars in front. Let's 
still getting used to the ERS. <laughs> I haven't quite got my head around it yet. I mean, I got really used to the whole battery system on in the LMP1 car on iRacing, but I feel like I have way less time in the, in the F1 car compared to what I did in the LMP1 car. And really want to try and keep with the pack in front. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, okay, that was too much. <laughs> Track limits. As you probably already noticed, I do not have corner cutting set to strict. But I find the strict setting a little bit too strict. So I like to try and keep it as realistic as possible though you won't see me using too many curbs at least try not to use too much curb damn it, I missed the DRS that's a that's a huge miss I was only like two tenths out of it as well really have to try and get back within a second the energy store is getting warm reducing our overall capacity the more charge you hold the faster that capacity will drop Ah, shit. Alright, that's interesting. I didn't know that's that was the deal with the sort of harvest. Ah, I can't get within that second. It's killing me. Can't get in it. <laughs> Problem is, I'm just about using up all this battery a little bit too quick. Ah, uh, that's fr that. Okay, so there's a bit of a force feedback glitch going on, where if I run on that curb going into that last corner, it sort of takes all the force feedback away, and really sort of screws with your head because all of a sudden you've got n like no wheel weight. Seem to get within that second. Bottas has just moved into first place. Right, here we go. We're in a second now. This could help us out a bit. Nail this final sector. Good. Be aware we expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. I've got to conserve some battery here because I've used up so much just to get in this second. Tell you what, we got some pace this weekend though. Awesome. Yeah, I didn't get that one right. Very soft middle sector, but seem to be good through the final sector. It's the second sector on the Sort of timing screens that I've been poor through all weekend. Airy wash, nasty. All right, I'm gonna save up some energy store over the next sort of couple of laps, and then have another go at it. 
since we're in the DRS zone, that's sort of doing enough. I think Verstappen's a bit of a cork in the bottle right now. He's in second. Still a long, long way to go in this one. Track limits. Could add a little pop of the overtake there, but not just yet. See how we get off this corner. Sorry, turn two, I should say. Oh, that was too too aggressive. Didn't get anywhere near close enough. <laughs> Should have just sent it. Throw some balls, man. It's too indecisive. I'm just so worried about my front wing. You know, you sort of that sort of contact can just take that little bit of downforce off the front wing and ruin the rest of the race. Oh, Joseph, come on. It's too aggressive. Oh, shit. Did not, <laughs> did not get that one right at all. Oh, it's a serious ding-dong going on for a second. <sighs> get on the overtake too early and you end up just wheel spinning the tyres and just pointless even using it. Oh, that was close. for the undercut here in a sec. Mind you, we are going on to the hard, so I'm not going to probably have as much pace as I do on this tyre. I don't know when the first pit stop is, I've got the lap that I set it to. Oh, I'm definitely pushing it there in that last corner. Stewards wouldn't be happy in real life. out of here. Good exit, good exit. Alright, here we go. Come on, go you Honda. Oh shit. I ended up forcing the... <laughs> oh, the overtake button's still on. Ended up forcing Leclerc underneath. Oh, sorry, Vettel under... Verstappen, <laughs> that could have gone wrong. Damn it. One thing's for sure, we actually do have genuine pace in this race. Like, really good pace. Like, beyond the best of the rest pace. Ah, scheisse. Ah, far out, man. Nine, come on. I've right, got a good in lap here.
Did I screw that up? Alright, in and out. Let's see if we can undercut the stop and come on lads. Earn your dollars. Or pounds. Oh, what the fuck, man? Release the clutch too early. Nein! Das ist nicht gut. Seriously, it was not in the duo? No, maybe not. Come out behind Grosjean, which is not good. Did not have a very good stop, so we're not going to undercut Verstappen, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Hold up. God damn it. Oh, that's too much good. Oh, Stappen stayed out another lap. That's interesting. Oh, he is going long. Hunt down Vettel again. Apex over there somewhere. Stappen's in. Oh, we've done him. Oh, yeah, boy. All right. I don't know why they stayed out that extra two laps, but awesome. Awesome. Up into fourth. Something's happened. The car ahead has come into fit the mediums. Car ahead, now running medium tires. I think his pit entry here is so awkward. He's sort of had, I think, what happened to Vettel happened to me on that lap that Stappen and all that came out. But here we go, this is going to be interesting. Oh my days. Full send. How do you like them apples? That's one way of doing it. You! Ah, uh, shit. Alright, now we got a hot Mercedes behind us. This is not going to be easy. Oh, come on, Joseph. Shit. Uh, 
Alright, need to focus, come on. Oh, Vettel's had to pit. I think we may have damaged his wing in that <laughs> contact. That's not gone well. Alright, see how long we can keep good old Hamilton behind us. Uh, yeah, no, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to sit... Settle for third because we do not have that much pace. I think we, we have more pace than Verstappen, but we don't have the pace for the Mercedes. Oh, he's on the... I just realised he's on the medium as well. So he's making another pit stop. Unless he goes to the end on that, which I highly doubt. It's really interesting, actually. Well, you would not believe it, but we're actually starting to catch back up to Hamilton. <laughs> he stayed out on the medium, and that sort of crossover point is starting to happen. Gained about a second in the last two laps. Very well snatched second here. Got Alpha Tari catching Mercedes. It's uh, <laughs> not very realistic, but we'll give it a go if we can get close enough. are still in better shape than his. Gap to teammate How am I not DRS, man? What the hell? Seconds. Shit, we're gonna get fucked here. Yeah. Uh, 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 fuck's sake. Nine, come on. I've got DRS, so that's alright. Four laps to go, I reckon we could do this. GRS is open. Alright, save a little bit of battery and see if we can get him on the next run up to turn two. He's squiggling, his tyres are gone. car is just on rails. This setup, the upgrades, it's just feeling fucking fantastic. Right, here we go. Two laps to go. Oh, sorry, three laps to go. Ah, shit, double change. 
hate when I do that. It's like a random reflex action. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, boy. I let him go earlier on because I knew we just did not have the pace, but the fact that he stayed out on those mediums has helped us big time. I don't know why they didn't go to hards like we have, but AI strategy, I suppose. <laughs> Two laps to go, come on. Let's finish this thing. Too much curb. Okay, the gap to the car ahead is five seconds. Let's see if we can bring this gap down. Yeah, that's gonna be a tall order. Don't have the pace to catch Bottas, but we've done Hamilton. According to Jeff, the, uh, there's an issue with Verstappen's car, so that's why he's dropped so far back. Ooh. Oh my days, what a race. Man, this has been insane. Battle with Vettel earlier on, and with Hamilton later on, but we are going to grab a second place finish. Holy shit. Woo! Good job, you oh, man. Super First podium, F1 2020. It's taken me half a season, but we got there in the end. I didn't think we'd get a single podium this year, considering we're driving an Alpha Tauri, which is not the fastest of the sort of mid-pack cars in real life, but those upgrades, the setup, this track, I don't know what it is about this track. We've been quick in just about every category this weekend. Even on R-Factor 2, I had to up the difficulty. But, oh, man. Ooh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm puffed out, man. That was a... Uh, these, these F1 races are so intense. Even though it's like a Simcade game, and it's not overly realistic. You know, I've still got to concentrate quite hard, but... Woohoo! Podium. Congratulations then to Mercedes. <sighs> Your race winners today. Yeah, we had nothing for Bottas, and they actually they pitted him twice. The Mercedes team, they put him on medium, same as Hamilton, but he got out to such a big gap that he could come in, put a do a pit stop, put medium uh, the hard tire on it, and get to the end. But I can't believe we beat one of Mercedes. That's just scary. I might have to up the difficulty here in a sec. To check out yeah, Perez 14th to 5th, that's, to that's decent. 106 9. I was going to say, where, so where are we points? Well, 7th. Okay, so we're best of the rest right now, which is what I've been... That's my goal this year, is to be the is to be the best of the rest. And Alpha Tauri, we're only one point behind McLaren in that sort of race for the Constructors' Championship. So that's all for this video. Thanks guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. That was one entertaining race from my point of view. Like and subscribe and the British Grand Prix is coming up next. So until next time, catch you guys later.